So we're back at the hotel. Um, long day at Shanghai Disneyland. We didn't even have time to record a video after all the attractions that we did. Um, so we're doing it in our beautiful Toy Story room with the, the clouds behind us. Uh, ready, for ready for sleep. <laughs> even though it's only 10 or something. I think it's 10 o'clock. Um, but yeah, today was a busy day. Hectic. Um, totally not what I was expecting. Um, rides are perfect. Park is amazing. Just the people. The people are a little bit meh. I don't know. But yeah, so we did the Tron. Uh, what do you think of the Tron ride? Eh, it's pretty fun because of the way that you sit in the ride. It's pretty much test track inspired, but uh, yeah. Well, it's we, even sponsored by the same car brand, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's so. GM sponsorship. So, But yeah, it's pretty much the same, I guess, ride system. Um, but it's really fun to be riding on basically on your stomach forward. It's like you're flying a bit. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really quite nice. nice. Yeah, it's, re it's a really nice ride. We did it at, at, as the first ride coming in. Uh, so we did do the, the My Disney Experience or whatever it's called. Um, it's a paid Fast Passes. So you get seven Fast Passes for seven rides with Fast Passes. Pirates is not included. Um, but it's an amazing experience. Like At least you can keep on going. Uh, but let's get back later in a second. Um, but yeah, Tron is amazing. Um, take a really nice picture. We both have an evil face on that picture. <laughs> no, we were screaming because <laughs> that first uh, little shot out was quite uh, exciting and fun. It's a totally different experience being like face downwards and flying out versus yeah. uh, normal sitting cars. So they make you uh, stuff all your stuff in a locker. So mm -hmm. the moment you walk in, there are lockers. Um, it's quite of a, a difficult process. I also don't know if there's always enough lockers available because people can leave their stuff longer. They just have to pay for it. People might do. Um, but yeah, everything else, it, it's a great ride. It, you just, you see it from the Toy Story Hotel, you see it when you walk in, it's just, yeah, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, then next up we did Seven Mind Train, Seven Dwarfs Mind Train. Um, yeah, well, same as in Florida, the exact same ride system, same yeah. track, well, same uh, look and feel. I think there's one less loop though at the end. And in the well, end, of course, there are no loops, but it's just well, a little the, the turn. Yeah, a turn. Uh, and then also the end, like dance kind of scene with Snow White is a little bit different. It's True. not the actual characters dancing. I think it was a shadow. Yeah, it's a shadow. You can see a shadow mm. dance. Um, but yeah, for the rest, it, it's a nice ride. It's just they're missing the the waiting the queue area that that you guys have in Florida now, uh, which makes it a really nice ride. Um, after that, we did. Pirates, I think. I'm trying to think. Well, we also did we Pirates. <laughs> we got a snack, but we also did Pirates. What did we do after that? Uh, so Pirates is not part of the Fast Passes, so we, we had to wait a bit until the, the wait time was reasonable, and that was straight after the parade, so we did it. We, we did do it later, but besides that. Mm. But the Pirates ride from second one until the moment you get out of the, out of the, the little boats, amazing. I've, yeah. I've never thought that they could upgrade this whole ride. Um, but of course the idea behind it is that uh, all the other pirates are based on the original pirate story on which the movie is based, but this ride is entirely based on the movie. Movies. Uh, movies, yeah, movies. Well, I think it's more the last movie, last two movies. What they do with the special effects, what they do with projection mapping, with screens, with yeah. everything, going backwards, going sideways, it's... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's amazing. It was it's like amazing. Drawn, like, yeah. what? <laughs> it's amazing. And, and the nice thing they, they did take from Paris is that you also have a photo photo pass opportunity. Um, yes. So at one of the drops, they, they do take a picture. Um, and we both look hideous on that picture because we had no idea what was going to happen. Um, and the moment it, it does happen, it, it's not a scary moment, but it's just like, you're like kind of, <laughs> wow. I wasn't looking in the right direction. Let's just put it that way. So you might be surprised as well. Uh, we did uh, Soarin' Over the Horizons, um, yes, same nice. ride as in California, same ride as in Florida, but it's just really nice. Um, they have the new the new screens with the new footage, so you do do a little dip over the, the Chinese wall, the Great Wall. Um, yeah, it's just nice. Uh, it's a different walk-on than uh, in California. I've never done the one in Florida, so I don't know how that, that one works. Um, but yeah, there's nothing... like. It's also in a totally different land as well. Yeah. So it, I would say kind of the walls reminded me, it's not really the best example, but Indiana Jones, like it's like big walls and blocks because I think it was a discovery land, uh, like an adventure. 
yeah. Island. True. Uh, Discovery Island. I, I think it is so. Adventure Island. Well, we still haven't figured out all the names of all the all the <laughs> yeah. lands that There's are so around many lands everything. Here, but yeah, so it has a different feel because it's much more of a Discovery as maybe Aztec. Yeah. You know, if you think of that, big blocks of old buildings. Yeah. So. And then kind of an oddball, but I mean, then we did River Rapids. River Rapids, um, fun, is, fun, it, fun thing. They sell ponchos yeah. in the waiting line. These are not hecklers. These are actual Disney people selling you ponchos for for ten yen. For ten yen, which is I don't even know how much it is. It's a not few much. euros. It's it's not much, um, but yeah, people do not want to get wet. Or yeah, like also huge signs like put your poncho on now or get wet later. Well, we went on without a poncho. We did get wet. Uh, a lot of the locals a were looking bit. at uh, at us saying, oh, like we're laughing as that we got wet, but that's the whole deal of a ride like this. I'm yeah. not going to go on a ride and not, not get wet. Um, but yeah, that's just how it works. And then... And it's the same track, I think, almost verbatim from um, Grizzly River Rapids in California Adventure. However, there's a little uh, surprise. I mean, it's themed a little differently, um, and you'll have a surprise once you get into some of the dark areas. In oh, and it, it spins a really lot nice. more it, than any other rapid yeah, even more rapids than ride I was on. Yeah, even more than Grizzly. It's uh, yeah, yeah. We were spinning. I got dizzy just from being spun around. Even not even the, from the dips. So yeah. <laughs> that was hmm, that was interesting. And then we did uh, Peter Pan flights. Uh, Peter Pan's flight, which was which was nice, but it's yeah. it's more or less the same as whatever every park has. It's just it's nice to see the projections and well, it's bigger what to do now. here. Like, yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> There's I, more seats. You can even the walkway get, uh, getting into the ride is not like the 1950 size yeah, in Cal- Disneyland. So that's great. That was fun. And then the last ride that we did was the um, Winnie the Pooh's Winnie the Pooh. adventure. Great whatever. Adventure? It's- I think it's great adventure. <laughs> Many adventures of Winnie the Pooh there. So if, if you know the ride in California, which is kind of psychedelic, um, it's different. Yeah. It's completely different. It's it's good. Like we went on here and thought that was also going to be psychedelic, but it's it's not, and that makes it a really fun ride. Mm. Uh, they do some nice things with with your cart that it like starts hippity hopping just like Tigger. Um, that's it's just a little cute story, and and yeah, that's really nice. And that was also our last ride of the whole fast pass uh, package that we did. Yeah. Uh, you can buy fast passes here. There are people in the park selling you fast passes. Uh, those are not legit. Well, the fast we passes didn't might work. That, though, we didn't experience that, but there are reports about people trying to sell you fast passes. So Disney came up with this system, where you pay what is it, uh, four hundred eighty, or something like that. That was for the two of us, though, right? I have I have no idea. I think no, it was per person. Yeah. We will we will put it in the video in the articles that we're gonna write. Uh, how much it is? It's it's quite a steep of it's quite the price is quite high. Um, but if you're short on time, it's a great way to to actually experience all these rides. Um, because a good thing is you don't have to wait until your fast pass time is up. You can just go in and and just do all the rides. So we whenever we, you feel like it, yeah, basically. We, we we basically blocked them together and did them more or less in each land of how mm-hmm. we felt it would be best. So. That really worked out well. Um, yeah, we saw the parade. Parade is, is great. It's an amazing parade. Um, yeah, the parade route is really long. I think when we when we saw the parade, the first part of the parade, even though the the, uh, the map said there's no parade at noon, there was a parade at noon, even though the the, the cast members didn't even know which parade it was, which is kind of hilarious when they uh, when that happens. Uh, but we saw it the second time, the whole parade. But the first time, we were, we were able to quickly calculate that the parade takes about 50 minutes, 5-0, to go all the way around the parade route, um, which is quite long. Uh, but yeah, this time we saw it at the beginning, near Tomorrowland. Great spot to see the parade. It's like a straight yeah. up. And that basically also led us into doing all the other rides just before dinner. Uh, because the park closed Lightyear, at what was the other one? We did Buzz Lightyear. Um, yeah, we did that right before the parade. Yeah, which was which was fun. Um, that was the other Fast Pass ride. Those are also the only seven Fast Pass rides you have. Uh, Pirates is not Fast Pass, but does have a single rider lane, so it could make it a bit easier. Even though single rider lane was twenty five when we got on there, and it the was twenty and was then... twenty, and then the normal standby was twenty five. Mm-hmm. So if it has really has that much use for you, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so then, then the packages was great. Uh, the, the parade was nice. Amazing float of Mulan. I think that's that's a really good thing to see. I like Tangled as well. Tangled was nice as well. Um, well, Frozen was on there. Frozen with a standard float for Anna and Elsa. But then um, for this parade, they also have the, the... Yeah, what is it called? The Ice Guy. The Ice Man. The Ice Man? 
the, the horrible <laughs> ice guy that, that runs around in Frozen as well. Uh, he had his own little float. Well, basically, he is the float, which was quite nice to see. Mm. Yeah, a lot of classic characters, which makes it fun to, to just watch the parade. The music is quite nice, quite catchy. Um, it's quite a variety of characters yeah. from and, old to new, which is nice. Yeah, and because the, the parade route is quite long, basically everybody has a good a good possible way to view it. Mm. Uh, we lined up just only half an hour before, and we had we had front row seats while we were standing, but we were standing right at the at the edge of the parade route. Um, yeah, we already experienced that. That even at at the, at the hub or whatever they want to call that here, because it's a different uh, way they they area it, they make the area go round. Um, then nobody was waiting for the parade, unlike, for instance, Tokyo, where like people sit hours, down for two hours, hours. Yeah. or Paint Tonight in California, where people sit down for three hours, uh, or okay. used to sit down for three hours. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was that was it a bit. Um, yeah, I said, well, we also did dinner. We did the Royal Banquet Hall, uh, which is a restaurant in the castle, which is great. Uh, even though the papers and everything else and cast members say... Uh, special viewing, reserve viewing for the fireworks is included. It's not. Uh, they charge you 200 yen, yon, yon, yen? Just say Chinese yen. <laughs> 200 Chinese yen per person. Um, good thing was that, yeah, well, we complained about it, so we got it for half price. Uh, still a lot of money because 200 yen is 27 euros, about $30. So we paid $15 per person to have reserved viewing, which normally with these type of package, packages is included in the meal. Mm -hmm. uh, good thing though is that when the fireworks is canceled, they will refund you the money. So that's a, that's a nice takeaway out of that. Uh, but the banquet itself, it's nice. It's just like a, not really fun. Well, it's fine dining. I mean, it's better than anything else in the park. Yeah. Um, it's not the same as Magellan's where we went in Tokyo, which was really fine dining. Uh, but it was fun to see the characters. Um, we had a photo op with Minnie downstairs, and then we had Donald, Mickey, and Daisy upstairs when they made the little rounds. And they're wearing their medieval, or yeah, castle yeah. type of royal the type royal of feature outfits. And that was that was quite fun. And because it was a quite relaxed atmosphere, we were just able to uh, get the pictures in. Mm. Fireworks. Well, it's the same fireworks as Paris. Although we have to say it the other way round. Paris took the fireworks from Shanghai for their twenty fifth anniversary. Which is a bit of a letdown. I always thought that Paris had great fireworks for the 25th, but now knowing that basically everything except for the Mulan scene has been taken from Shanghai, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Uh, but the fireworks here on the castle work quite well, even though there's not that much fireworks. Yeah. Um, and there is I a word for that, which we don't know. better uh, in France, actually, because of the fireworks. Yeah. It loses, misses that element. Exactly. Although the, yeah. water, the water elements are quite nice here. Yeah. The, the water fountains in front of the castle. True. But yeah, that, that was a bit our day. Um, good thing is, is that even if the park closes at 7, um, Avenue M or M Avenue, Mickey Avenue. Mickey the Avenue, yeah. Yeah, the first, the first street you walk into when you enter the park stays open a, an hour longer, which gives you a bit to, to eat something, to take some photos and do some shopping. That was great. But uh, yeah, I said it, it was an interesting day. Um, when we walked in, we saw three or four fights in the security line before ticketing, uh, people trying to sell you stuff. Um, while you're waiting and also walking around in the park, which is crazy. They're selling Disney gear while actually being... Yeah, Mickey ears. Mickey ears, Mickey ears. a little uh, key change and that type of stuff Hunters. while you're in, in, the, in the park, which is kind of weird. Yeah, and then we even saw a mom having her boy pee in a bottle while we were waiting for the parade, which, yeah, we don't... First of all, we don't do that. Well, and Second the toilet all, was actually it. just around the corner. I yeah. mean, it was... Not Literally, like maybe maybe a hundred feet further, you had a toilet where he can just maybe basically twenty steps away, and it was right there. So. Relieve himself in a decent way. Well, for us, decent way. But here, apparently, it's quite custom to just pee in a bottle on the street. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's that's the thing. Like we really well, I enjoy the park. I think you do as well. I think the layout is great. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very big too. So even though it was there's so many people, it was. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would yeah. be. Like I thought it'd be shoulder to shoulder, but there were moments where I could take a picture and nobody was was there. So yeah. true. It's it's, it's just that yeah, personal space is not a, not really a given here mm -hmm. um, in this park. Yeah, and people kind of ruined the park. The fireworks was over, and I've never seen that much shit on the floor. Not literal shit, but uh, figuratively. Not. Yeah. Uh, on the floor after fireworks. There were ponchos, there were princess dresses, there was food, empty food containers. A jacket. A like jacket, a... Uh, strollers, it was it was mayhem. Yeah. And poor cast members, they have to clean this all up. So 
hopefully tomorrow everything is going to be clean mm. but for now uh, we're going to finish our drinks upload our photos and uh, take a well deserved nap and nice. be at the park tomorrow morning again a little extra early <laughs> a little, little extra early because we, we were there at 10 to 9 yeah, it took us about an hour to get in, so uh, yeah. yeah, that needs to be better. So that needs to be better tomorrow. Definitely arrive earlier. Yeah, yes. good thing, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.